Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm going to be making two cards today for Spellbinders. They sent me some products to make some cards and videos and social media posts with. Uh, my first card is a happy birthday card and my second is a happy Thanksgiving card. The focus here are the dies. So we've got the Merry Everything words and we have the Happy Occasion words. My first card is going to be using this die set called Merry Everything Words. These are from the Right Words Collection by Becca Feakin for Spellbinders. What I did was I cut out all the words using some black shiny cardstock. You'll see there's Happy Thanksgiving, Halloween, Valentine's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, and there's a tag. So um, that's the gold piece off to the side. And I grabbed a stamp set that was previously released. The stamp set is called Love Never Fails stamp set from Spellbinders. Here I have everything laid out, all of the dies. I have them all die cut. I have the label and the little button. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces to this die set. Again, this one is called Mary Everything Words. I'll have everything linked below in the description box. Now, this Spellbinder set has some nice sentiments, but I'm going to be focusing on the flowers. So, what I'm going to do is stamp these flowers and leaves on this cream colored paper. Then I'm going to die cut them with my brother scan and cut. And the inks I'm going to use are from Catherine Puller. Once I get everything lined up here. Okay, so the first color I'm going to use is apricot. I have this video on fast forward. Second, we have ginger. I have it sped up just in the in the interest of time then we have terracotta and I'm going to just stamp each flower in a different color okay I went back in with that terracotta uh, next we have flame so these are fall colors I think Okay, then we have Cranberry Fizz, which is a deep red color. And there are these little berries, so I thought I would. Um, and then we have Glitz. I thought the berries and the little dots I would do in red. And then we have Martini. And then we have wintergreen, which I don't think I end up using wintergreen. It's a little bit too light. Yeah, I grab the deck the halls, which is a darker green. It's, I think it's one of the darkest greens. And I go back in with martini. Just trying to vary things a little bit so the objects are different colors. Simple enough. Everything's spaced out nice. I can run it through my scan and cut. I also used a rectangular die that I had in my stash. I used the Candle Wick Rectangles dies from Becca Feegan. I used one of those and cut out my main panel and I used a cream colored cardstock to cut out. I also have a rectangle cut out of gold cardstock gold foil cardstock and I'm going to go ahead oh by the way that's the rectangle dies candlewick rectangle dies that I mentioned just making sure I get all those little pieces out I like the pattern of this die I like how it has this nice border okay so then I'm just going to line this up onto my piece of foil it's going to be a matte layer and it does show through the rectangle candle wick rectangles. Now I'm going to put down the tag, which I also cut this out with gold foil cardstock. I 
and then I have to decide how I'm going to arrange my flowers and my leaves and it's just a simple card really I'm just layering things on the corners until I have it arranged in a way that I think looks nice I like these little leaves the best. They're so cute when you just tuck them underneath. Okay, and then I had my sentiment cut out in this black cardstock, but it doesn't show up very well on the gold foil. So then I decide, well, I better not use that. I think I'm going to cut my sentiment out in a different color of cardstock instead. All right, so that's how I arranged everything. And I'm going to go really fast now because I'm gluing things down. It takes me a little bit to glue all these little pieces down. But I did end up using the cream color cardstock to cut out Happy Thanksgiving. And I do like the, the script on these dies. They're nice and curvy and rounded. Um, it just looks really classy, I think. Okay, and here I am putting the final touches on this card. I'm going to then glue this down to an A2 card base and I will show you a still photo of the card finished and the photo that I took and here's the finished card now let's move on to the happy occasion words which is another die set that I received with these sentiments this again is happy occasion words these are from the Right Words Collection by Becca Feakin for Spellbinders. This set has 10 dies, including Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Anniversary, Holidays, New Year's, and the word everything. So happy everything, merry everything. And of course, uh, the die or the t label and the little button to make the hole for the tag. All right, so what I did was I had paper from this paper pack that I received from Spellbinders. This is the Cheerful Occasions paper pad. And I'm going to use this black glossy cardstock and some blue paper. And I'm going to cut my words out with this happy birthday words with this black glossy cardstock but the first thing I'm going to do this makes it a lot easier I have this um, double-sided adhesive I'm going to trim a piece to the size that I need I'm going to put it on the back of the black um, glossy cardstock and all I have to do is peel this paper off on one side and it's sticky on both sides and just apply that into the corner and then that will be the section that I put my happy birthday on I'll use some washi tape and I'll send that through my die cutting machine okay next I'm going to grab the sticker pack that I got from Spellbinders and there are several different sheets of stickers and the name of this sticker set is birthday celebration sticker pack and I like the cake so I use the birthday cake and I put the birthday cake sticker on a piece of square purple foil now I'm just trying to decide how I want to mat my card so it's got three layers so far it's got purple gold and then the blue pattern paper from the paper pack it also has the cake which is on the foil cardstock and underneath that is purple paper as a mat and then these letters just pull off real easily and they're sticky on the back and then I just go ahead and put those on this piece of purple scrap paper that I had and then I'll trim this down so that it fits on the front of my card panel I like using the double-sided adhesive better than trying to glue things. Uh, it seems like I get pretty messy with glue. 
But in a pinch, you can do it either way. It's, it'll work either way. And once I had everything laid out, I, I made a change. I decided that I wanted to use a different color of pattern paper. So I went to the paper pad and looked what I had left to choose from. And I picked this pattern instead. It has sort of looks like tiles. It's just a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to trim this down so that it can be placed on top of this purple layer. So I've got our purple matte layer and then we're going to put this blue pattern paper on top of that. I don't usually measure. I just keep trimming it until it fits but we're just basically matting it so it's just a little bit smaller than the piece of paper underneath of it and this one is probably four and a quarter by five and a half so the blue paper is probably four by five and a quarter and that's how it all comes together i'll have a still photo here of my finished card Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified of when I place videos up or do a live. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you think about these dies from Spellbinders? They just are so versatile and they cover so many great occasions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.